Lily's morning here. I hope that y'all are having a good morning. I thought we would do something a little different. I thought we'd do a makeup look for a job interview. Now, for me, I worked in a corporate environment before, so for me, I am, this is gonna be a neutral look. Hands down, neutral look. It's gonna be something classy and elegant, and that was just, the environment that I was in, I was used to. I just thought that might be something fun to do for those who may be interviewing for jobs. It may be helpful or for those who may want a natural look. Starting off, I have a few products here on my vanity. I thought, let's start with, let's start with the eyes, right? Eyes are, you never know with eyes. I feel like sometimes they can get all, you know, sometimes the, they can get everywhere. And that way, when you're doing eyes, you can definitely clean it up without messing up your makeup. I personally always like to start with an eye primer. So this is the Smashbox primer. I use this in almost every video now. <laughs> that or the NARS. And I just apply it to the lid here, like so. Just a little bit, nothing too much. Now that that's done, what I'm going to use today is this Guerlain palette. So this is the Guerlain Ombre G. This is a new formula in Imperial Moon 011. So 011, and I'll turn it the right way so you can see what it looks like. It's really pretty, y'all. I mean, it's such a pretty, pretty palette. This black is really nice and pigmented. It's just got some great shades in it. But the ones that I'm primarily gonna to use today are the lighter ones. Now, the good thing about this is, is you can use the black, use the lighter ones to kind of highlight or accentuate or line the eyes. It's great for that. I do like a good liner, honestly. I think it just pops the eyes out. And specifically, if you're doing interviews on Zoom or something like that, a little bit more is okay, <laughs> you know? This is just from my experience, y'all. Y'all do you, but I just thought, be fun to try to kind of show others what I would do. Might be fun. All right, y'all. First up, we're going to go in with this shade here. It's a really pretty kind of creamy beigey shade. And these are a little like a creamy matte. That. They're a creamy matte. And they're really beautiful on the skin. A good formula. Now, I haven't had these necessarily. I've heard some people say they've creased on them and I haven't had that happen. See how this shade is very subtle. It's something that is a really pretty crease shade, yet it's not like, bam, right? Something pretty subtle that accentuates eyes, yet isn't too, too much. I think it's nice. Now, do you need this palette? No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not the point. The point is for your skin tone and complexion and things like that. I think that just finding something that complements your eyes, complements you, and kind of brings out your best kind of like confidence, right? Because that's what we want in an interview. We want confidence and just to feel like we look our best selves, right? And in the end, y'all, that's really what makeup is, <laughs> I think. It's something to help us make us feel our best selves. I am just gonna sweep that over the lid a little bit just to kind of provide a little bit more conti like continuity on the lid. There we go. See how it's pretty subtle and just enough, right? It will come together, guys. <laughs> Once I do my brows, and it comes together. I'm going to use just a rougher, oh, I had a Chica Hodos GSN 10, and then I'm going to use this rougher brush. It's a 14. Do I want to do that or do I, we'll try that. So shade here, and then I'm just going to take that and sweep. I'm just going to sweep it right here. You can build this up with your finger, so I'll show you here in a minute, but it applies very pretty and nicely kind of with the brush. I like that. Isn't that pretty? 
Now remember, this is for someone that's like in a corporate world or something like If you're like a makeup artist, this probably wouldn't be. <laughs> be like the look or whatever but hey you never know it may be it depends it just depends guys you know it just depends on what you're doing what you're interviewing for how you know what your style is this is just kind of my style in a lot of ways so I just thought I'd share it with you and maybe it's helpful see how soft this is it's very simple very I feel elegant like in a way I'm going to take that, I'm going to take my Kitco, so small. I'm going to take that shade that we did in the crease and just kind of go right here underneath. Again, if you mess up, we haven't done our base yet, so that's okay. And then I would take a little bit of the silver, just a little bit, and kind of pop it right here. Isn't that fun? So that's the look right there. I have a Chantecaille eyeliner in Raven, and it's, it's, it's a black liner, but what I'm gonna do is line underneath to give the illusion of thicker, fuller lashes when I go to put my mascara on. It also defines the eye some, which is nice. Do it very subtly on the lower. If you don't like black, you can use a brown or something that's less dark or deep. I always like to not forget to connect the outer two, <laughs> the upper and lower, kind of like right in the corner here. Sometimes if you leave that, it can create kind of a white space and it kind of makes it look a little not finished, unfinished. So you see up above, it doesn't look like I'm wearing eyeliner. It still looks pretty natural, but in the lash line, you can definitely tell that they look thicker and things like that. So I'm gonna use eyelash curler and curl my lashes. Before I do the rest of my eyes and brows, I'm gonna put on my complexion. I definitely need, of some of a base of some sort. I love the Girl on Watery Oil. It gives a little sl uh, slip to them, which I prefer. Yeah. Using the Dior Forever tint. This is the their Natural Perfection Foundation, 24 hour wear. It's in 3N. Uh, this is a good shade match for me. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of the, I'm just little bit of the watery oil on it. This is not a super, super thick foundation, but like two drops of the watery oil is just enough to, I don't know. I just like the, I like the look, really. <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's kind of my thing now. <laughs> it's my jam. C41 Frozen Ben, the best. I always like to put stuff on the back of my hand. That's just kind of for me, what I do, you can do it however you'd like, but the C41 Frozen Men brush, so nice. And the cool thing about these brushes is that you can use them for liquid or powder, and I like that. Don't forget to go down your neck a little bit, and then up in your hairline a little bit too. And sometimes I forget to do that. And I'm like, why do I look so like, what's going on up here, you know? Like, it doesn't feel finished in a lot of ways. So that's what I do. And then right down the temple. And I like to kind of go right below the eye like this. That way it kind of gives me a little bit, like if I got any eyeshadow or anything like that right here, it kind of takes it away and cleans it up a bit. But what you can do is take some of your foundation on a brush, this is the Full Touch, full Coverage Touch Up by Bobbi Brown, take that and just place it right here like so. And I like doing that with concealer too. You can do it with your foundation that you have, like if you have some left over, concealer, all the things. 
and I'll take that and cover up like I have a spot here that I need a little bit more some redness take it around here that kind of thing just to provide a little bit more coverage because I definitely want to look more polished I guess where like from a day-to-day -day basis I would more I wouldn't probably put as much foundation it's definitely a pretty natural look still even so and then if you want to concentrate the product you just tap that's what I do <laughs> I just tap it so it can concentrate in that one area all right base is done I'm just brushing through my brows here I feel like we're starting to come together here so I'm gonna use this Jones <laughs> so little now this is a Jones Road pencil I'm just gonna apply it to where I need a little bit I have a few places here and the cool thing about this I just kind of literally this is all I do <laughs> and it's so nice and there's little kind of fibers microfibers that connect with the hair and make my brows look fuller or more full I really like it just take a spoolie I usually uh, keep spoolies from old mascaras I'll just clean them off and so see the difference here definitely see a difference between this brow and this brow brows are done super simple it was in shade light brunette I'm going in with a bronzer by Victoria Beckham this is her shade 2 bronzer and I am going to use I'm so excited about this brand new bronzer brush so many G I'm loving it okay so just taking this on the perimeter we'll see we'll assess if I need powder after this but I feel like sometimes bronzer kind of tones down the whole look anyway but we may need a little powder and while I love a dewy look I do think there's something to be said with toning down the glow for an interview I'm going to use a bit of powder I have this Suku powder here right here it is the retouch press powder in 102 and I'm just going to very lightly dust this across my face I might use this buffing so I'm just going to really lightly tap it here and then tap it over my nose and down and the cool thing about this powder is you can just tell it toned it down some but it still has a really pretty kind of glow to it and that is so pretty right so if you're looking for a powder I know Suku is not the easiest to get here in the United States you can order it from like Selfridges or anything or something like that but overseas but this really gives you kind of that candlelit glow while toning down the glow and it also has this really pretty kind of you see how it's kind of two-toned here and this has a little bit of blue and things like that that can be used under the eyes some and give kind of that candlelit effect as well I don't like to use a ton of powder under the eyes I don't like my eyes looking like crepey <laughs> if I'm honest since we're on the face, let's continue and put on a blush. I do really love, I'm loving these Gucci blushes, but this shade in particular is very versatile. It's very natural. It's called Rosy Beige, and I really like it, like a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> so you can use like an 04 from Refer. Um, I often like to use uh, 04. You can see that it's dirty. Let's see. Here's an 05, which is a little fluffier, and I like that for blush too. But this gives a really, like for my, for me, I'm kind of a light medium skin tone. Probably more, more on the medium side right now, but I get kind of lighter on the, in the winter or whatnot. But this 
is so pretty as just this natural flush and it's very subtle. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit more pink or something like that, I think a really pretty baby pink is so lovely on a lot of people. I think like the Dior Rosy blush, oh, so beautiful too. So I thought that this would kind of go really well with this look and things like that. And it's really just a nice neutral toned shade for me. I'm going to add a little bit of the Jones Red Balm. Now, this is just a very small amount, but I feel like sometimes it's just really pretty just to kind of go right here, kind of highlights the cheek and provides, it goes well over powder, so it works really well. But just enough. Don't go too heavy or anything like that, but it gives just a subtle, like as you turn, kind of gives you just a subtle glow right there and I really like that. When it comes to things like an interview or something like that, you, I tend to use something that I know is gonna look good, right? I know it's gonna work, it's my tried and true, that's the Chanel Le Volume. Ah, oh, it's just so good. That's the Chanel Le Volume, it's just so good. It's what I've gone to for ages, honestly. It doesn't, it's not too much, but it's not, it still gives you a big bang for your buck kind of thing. And I really like it. I do have longer lashes, so I have to be careful not to get it up on the lid. So I just kind of hold my eye like this <laughs> while it's while the mascara is drying. The trick of lining the waterline really kind of shows when you put on the mascara. It really makes your eyes pop. And I think that can look super sophisticated on any occasion. It doesn't have to be a job interview. You can do it whenever you want. Another tip or trick, if you've gotten too much mascara or you feel like, oh no, I applied way too much. I need to kind of make sure they're not clumped together or whatnot. And I would definitely make sure you don't have clumpy lashes. Take a spoolie, clean spoolie, and just work your way through the lash. That helps to unclump the lash and do it while it's drying so that you're not going through clumpy la- or you're not having mascara kind of fly everywhere, flake everywhere or anything like that. All right, lips. So I have this new lip liner by Dior. It's not new. It's just new to me. It's called Beige Lumiere. Have you heard of this one? It's new. So I'm just gonna put it on. I haven't really tried it that much. I like a soft lip, something that's neutral or maybe a little bit more, like with this, I would wear maybe even a little bit more of a brownie tone or something like this. But I really like this one and I'm just gonna fill it in a little bit. It has a little like subtle sheen to it. It's so pretty. Gosh, this is a great lip liner color. I wouldn't do something like too terribly glossy on the lips. I think something like this is very beautiful, simple, elegant, easy. Yeah, I think, I think this is it guys. <laughs> so once the, uh, the mascara dries, I learned this trick from Bobbi Brown. I was watching her one day and she's like, I just take my finger and press the lashes up and it kind of acts as a natural, natural eyelash curler. I'm like, oh, why didn't I know that? <laughs> I think it looks pretty and natural and I feel really confident. And I think that's something that I just wanted to bring to you and hope that you enjoy. Let me know what products you would use. I'm curious to know. I really appreciate you guys. I know that, you know, with all types of different jobs, we would have different looks and things like that. But this was just something that I would do and what I would do for a job interview. So I hope that this is helpful for you guys. And thank you so much for watching. I'll leave all the products that I mentioned down in the description box so that you can reference them. And I appreciate it if you subscribe. Go ahead, hit that bell and as well if you'd like so that you're notified of when I upload. I appreciate you guys being here and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.